Hey YouTube, it's Max from Max Comptips, and today I'm going to be doing a remake of a video on how to uh, have smooth, lag-free gameplay, but this time with sound. Because a lot of people were complaining the other video didn't have sound because I was having problems with it. But uh, first, you want to have these three programs, they'll all be in the description. Fan System Care, Game Booster, and Speed Fan. Uh, first, you want to open Speed Fan. I'm going to start out with this one because it's pretty simple. It, it'll detect all your hardware, it'll show your temperature and all these and the arrows are whether it's getting hotter or colder so my hard drive temperature is going down, my core temperature is going down all this stuff is going down except for my CPU right now is going up the temperature and it tells you the temperature see it's at 43 degrees celsius right now it actually just changed from 42 and uh, it shows your CPU usage, I have a dual core so I have two CPUs or whatever so if you have a quad core it'll have four of these bars but uh, you want to make sure all these uh, speeds are at 100% because those control your fans and you want your fans to be as high as you can to uh, to keep your system cold and uh, the cold your system is the better and more efficient it will run and if it has a check mark that means it's staying at that degrees like my CPU right now alright so now that we're done with that we can switch over to advanced system care free this program is fully free you're just losing a few different things like a it has no trial, it's just a few things like extra features you don't get in the free version, but you don't need them. Make sure that active boost is on, and it'll tell you your PC health. Mine is fair right now, so I should probably run it. But uh, you can go to deep or quick care and just click scan now or scan and repair. And it'll find all these problems from your, from your computer. And also, when, before you start a game, you want to run turbo boost. Boost it now, make that on, and make sure again active boost is on. But uh, I'll show you in quick care. Like all of you details, see, like it'll get uh, malware removal, registry fix, shortcut fixes, privacy sweep, and junk files. So it kind of just cleans up your computer. And the deep one goes even further into there with all these other things disk scans, vulnerability tests, security defense, all that stuff. So this will just help your computer be faster all around. And I love this program, it's really good and useful. And uh, Game Booster, probably the most important one here is uh, before you start your game you want to click start boost and it will close all these unnecessary programs and files that don't have anything to do with your performance in the game and uh, yeah, you want to click that but before you can even you want to do that you want to go to tools and defrag and uh, find your game like crisis 2 right there I have and click defrag and it will defrag the game but I don't think I already did this one so it shouldn't have any fragments but uh, it rearranges some of the files so it's easier for your computer to read them so it would run faster your game but yeah, and also you can go to your drivers and update any drivers that you uh, need updated. See, so it detects my software there, my hardware, and it'll see if I have any drivers that need updated, but no drivers do. And uh, yeah, more updated drivers will make it run faster as well. And uh, one more thing you can do is lower the settings in your game, which will drastically increase your frame rate. And uh, I'm going to go into a game now and show you how to do that, Command and Conquer, Kane's Wrath. And I'll, uh, I'll show you how to lower settings. It's basically the same in every game, you just click settings. And when you're in a game like this, I just brought up Command & Conquer 3, find your options and settings menu. Every game has it. You just gotta look at it. Maybe under like system settings or graphic settings. And uh, make sure everything is turned low. So like, for example, in this game, they uh, break it down to a lot of different things. Anti-aliasing, terrain detail, water detail, model detail, texture quality, uh, animation, shadows, visual effects, and shader. Turn it all low or off. And the resolution as well, you can turn lower, 800 by 600 will be the worst. But uh, you shouldn't have to unless your computer's really bad. But uh, we had to turn on those low and then click done and make sure it uh, applies those settings. And then that should majorly increase your frame rate in games. And you can just play the game and you'll see an increase in frame rate. 